It's mad confusing. Um, oh, I'm gonna go edit corrosive projection. Stupid. <laughs> Dean, my goodness, did you see did how fast he just disappeared that? when I took that? Did you guys off, just bro? see that? <laughs> Look how quick that Yo. poor dude just Yo, died. Yo, he got I naked and just disappeared, bro. Yo guys, what's going on? Life of Rio here, and I'm bringing you all my Octavia 8-hour survival run that was done in Void MOT. Now, this run was just so fun. I did it with a great bunch of guys, and I promised you guys an Octavia long survival, but we just didn't know how long we were going to go. I just knew it was going to be higher than 5 hours. Now, the thing about this one is, is that it was extremely fun. If you guys did not get to see the run in its entirety, you can go over and check it out over on my Twitch. My Twitch name is Life of Rio. Now, so many awesome people came through. People fell asleep and came back on stream. People had to go to school. So it was really, really fun and just funny, period. Now, I'll go over the team comp for you guys. And also, if you guys have not seen my Octavia build, there will be a link in the description towards my Octavia's video to where you guys can check that out to where I do a breakdown for you guys on that build. Now, I wanted to figure out what I can learn with Octavia from doing a long survival because we all know she's a super powerful frame but really just how powerful is Octavia and how far can she push it in doing long survival runs now overall she is one of the greatest team assets that we have um, next to Banshee so I want to really figure out who's better she or Banshee and honestly I figured out some crazy stuff for you guys and also let me go over the team comp the team comp that we have here was um, dream was Banshee we had boss who was a desecrating necros and we had cold um, who was another Octavia and we were running this basically the same similar builds so the thing about this one is guys is that Octavia one she's she's an asset on any team she's amazing she fits any team comp period no matter what the team comp is even if it's a bad team comp she brings it together and you guys can you know create synergies out of it so overall she's I would say the number one frame in the game for actually fitting into any type of synergy and uh, now the thing about this one is is that her mallet which you guys all know is Octavia's first ability which draw aggro to let the enemy shoot at it to actually um, do damage towards themselves now we figured out that once we hit the three hour plus mark the enemies was just totally ignoring her mallet first ability which was actually dropping the DPS so we had to find other means to actually get them to shoot it so we have to double stack mallet so what I figured out is that the aggro system for once you get a little bit higher in doing endurance runs the aggro system on mallet isn't as strong as it is starting out with the first um, one to two hours of a survival because the enemies just start ignoring it and coming exactly to where we were and we had other enemies to where they got really really smart while doing what we got up to the four hour mark is that they would start to stay outside of the mallet and not actually get in the radius to shoot it they would stay on the outside of it and not get hit with any damage which we were talking about it we were like yo that is crazy so Overall, we figured out some really cool things. Her um, amp ability was great. Everything about her synergy is fantastic. Now, I would say the least used ability from Octavia in this entire run was her second ability. We did not use that ability at all, which is where she throw out the little rolling ball that go out and get your mallet and move around with it. It was a very bad thing because it slowed down DPS, so we did not use it. I think the only time it really came up was when um, a critical moment when someone died or um, period it was just accident so you can probably count that it was out there like two two times at least so we joked about people having it out it was not an ability that you really need for long runs and it really messes up um, your DPS of what you have going on now Banshee was running sonar but the thing is guys I want to I want to tell you guys something here and I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to be the reason and you guys know I'm not going to go deeper into that. I just don't want to be the reason. So if you guys want to figure out more on this, whenever I'm streaming, you guys can come over on Twitch and you can ask me about it and I'll let you know. But I'll give you guys this hint for the people in the in the comment section that like to do the math. Go ahead and look on the screen. Um, now I said screen. You guys know my accent is going to completely destroy words. Look on there and tell me what my buff is. As you guys can see the buff. It's at 2247%, right? So 2,247% um, buff. And that buff is going over on the entirety of all of the um, weapons and type of damage that we're doing. 
Now, another thing is, is that it's actually not 2,247%. It's actually over 3,000. As you guys can see, growing power keeps going off. And we had multiple people that was rocking growing power. So the actual buff was just ridiculous. Now, as you guys seen at the start of the video to where we had the pox and the pox was melting things. And I have the pox build and everything at the end of the video just to show you guys. We were still around one, two shotting things when we got our buffs correctly. Now, as you guys can see right there, now the thing about this is we really set into motion to where we, once you got your buffs actually synergized together, there's a thing with Octavia to where if it's more than one Octavia, you can synergize your buffs and actually um, coexist, actually like whatever buff I'm giving, those buff will um, multiply with the other Octavia and that's why we we're doing so much ridiculous damage and she is just a frame of synergy that is all she actually is overall result of how I'm feeling about Octavia to be quite honest with you guys is that she is easily the most powerful frame in the game and I know a lot of people say why would you say she's the most powerful frame in the game well it's because she is it's it's just actual facts like a lot of people say it a lot of um, you know end game runners a lot of people who do long runs and you really don't get how powerful Octavia is unless you really do a long run with her and you see how she actually takes control of the entire mission now to be good with Octavia you have to synergize yourself to know not to be in front of your mallet you have to know how to work together now we all know stand invisible and all of that not none of that is difficult it's just actually having the I would say the awareness of staying awake and actually playing Octavia but like I said I just wanted to bring you guys a really long run with Octavia to see how she fared her first ability um, combo together with just her fourth ability was actually still killing um, up into the late rounds of around two to three hours it was still doing great damage and then also when you combo that with Banshee sonar you let enemies shoot at the own weak spots it actually done tons of damage now that wasn't what was doing all the killing because I know some people say oh you combo Octavia and Banshee they can infinitely kill no that's not it it stops killing it stops killing really really fast so you have to go in combination and the best weapon choice for Octavia on my personal which I told you guys in the Octavia video and that is the Tord the Tord is freaking amazing um, if you guys haven't seen it link will be in the description with my Tord build and my Tord Riven of what I'm using on it and the pox the pox and Tord is my two favorite weapons with Octavia it just synergizes so well um, how you keep the enemies there how you reflect in the damage from one side with the enemies and the damage that comes out is kind of like it's kind of like it's so surprising to me but the thing is what you guys got to understand is that the Tord and the pox are actually two scaling weapons in Warframe so those weapons actually scales now another thing of why I picked the Tord is because Octavia's multi shot of shooting on rhythm was ridiculous. I was getting out to six Tord shots at one time, so the amount of damage was just insane. I was getting throwing actually um, three to four pox at one time. So you guys gotta understand if you throw your weapon, I mean if you shoot on beat, which is easier to get with the pox because the, um, the pox has faster fire rate, you can throw up to six, I mean four um, pox at one time because of multi shot you get extra multi shot and I shot a max of up to six toward shots at one time so we were locking down the entire thing and without even Banshee doing anything we were stripping off the armor so fast because you know we didn't use corrosive projection here so we just used the toward and the pox and so all of that damage and everything was being multiplied by Octavia and Banshee so we were out buffing the enemy scaling well we were basically out doing enemy scaling which was ridiculous man and i really do hope that you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a thumbs up it would mean so much please share the video if you guys did um if you guys did enjoy it as well and thank you guys so much for the ridiculous support guys and i will catch you guys later on the next warframe video but also i want to let you guys know the next run that i have to do um will be a limbo video and just to let you guys see how powerful Limbo actually really is and how far we can push him. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. Thank you guys for the amazing support. And I will catch you guys later on the next Warframe video. Why well, you threw your two out though? <laughs> no, I didn't.
Yes, you did. That's not me. My two is not live. Everybody can see it on stream, you freaking liar. Look at you. Throwing the two out and getting me shot. Like this guy. All right, so let's see this real quick. Are we done? Hmm. Nah, we ain't done. Bro. 10K, 11K, 35. How you got so many pickups, Cold? What am I missing in my pickups? You, mean, you know what I'm missing? You know, you know what I'm Dude, missing your pickup right count is ridiculous, carrier, man. I'm not carrier trying to hear it. <laughs> Hey, just know it could be better. I ain't have Dude, my carrier. Um, hold up, minutes. bro. We not leave until my pickup count says higher than yours. Hold up. Fuck out of here. <laughs> hold <bullshit>. up. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this dude just over here swinging like this, bro? I come back. These barbarians just over here swinging. Hold up. Let's see this.